today I'm going to show you how to cook a spaghetti squash. Now first, you wash your squash very well. Make sure check for check for sauce spots. No sauce spots. So we're good. And we're going to cut it. Now be careful when you cut it cuz it's it's like it's like a pumpkin. It's hard to cut into. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut into it like this. Yeah, it's a bugger. Any kind of squash or Oh, what a pain in the ass. Okay, so now I'm going to do this side again. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Or at least I think I'm getting somewhere. Wow, this one's really hard to cut. Try to cut through that stem is impossible. Be careful, Natty. <sighs> so then when you did this side, there we go. <sighs> now if I knew a better way to cut this, it'd be better, but I don't. I just know how to cook it. I know how to cook it. Now I heard that you could Take these seeds, roast them like you would pumpkin seeds. I don't know if that's true. I'm going to look into it again to see if it is true. And if it is, well, I'll have that. I'll actually try it out and see if it's good. Now, I set my oven at 450 because this has to be cooked at a high temperature for 60 minutes. It takes quite a while, but it's worth it in the end. I'm going to try to take these seeds out. There we go. I'm just going to put them aside. And once I find out about if I could cook them or not. So clean that out. See how it's stringy right now? Once it's cooked, all this is going to be stringy as well. So that's going to be like your spaghetti. This is a great alternative to someone that is uh, diabetic or someone that's on a low cal diet. Good alternative to pasta. And it's a lot healthier for you. It's full of vitamins. It's got lots of nutritional value. Good nutritional value. And it's very good. It's a very good high fiber vegetable. So So I separated the seeds, rinsed them in a the strainer, took all the pieces of squash out of there and then uh, I'm going to roast them later. I found a recipe online for roasted spaghetti squash seeds. So my oven is set at 425. I'll be putting it in for 60 minutes because it takes quite a while for these to cook. Salt and pepper. So I got sea salt here. Now I'm also going to butter it a little bit, a little bit of butter. Just put it all around there. And if you leave a little a couple chunks in there, that's good. Oops. I don't think I'll leave the chunks in there like that. 
Okay. Now I take a pan, flip them upside down, like that. Now a little bit of aluminum foil on top. Make sure they're covered well. It's gonna help from not burning, but doing its thing, right? And that's it. 60 minutes in the oven at 425. Now, sometimes when you eat the spaghetti squash, once it's cooked and everything else, you put butter, garlic, and salt and pepper and eat it like a spaghetti or whatever you want, right? But I like to do it this way. Now, usually what I do is I put some sauce, some mushrooms, some scallions, scallion, but I ran out of ground beef and that's usually something that I do is I put like cooked ground beef but I don't have any ground beef. So I'm gonna be putting some leftover ham, mushrooms and scallions, sauce and Monterey Jack. So you're gonna to wanna to chop up your scallions. I'm gonna use two. Now, some people would use garlic, uh, a couple cloves of garlic. So maybe, I'll, maybe I will do that. I will use garlic. Okay, so now we're gonna chop that up, real nice and thin. I'm not too thin, but thin enough. that aside. Now where did I put my mushrooms? There. Now I'm going to, well I was going to cut up the ham but I guess it's already pretty much cut up. Just a couple big chunks in there so I'm just going to, this is leftover ham so I'm just going to put that in there because I don't have the ground beef. So I'm sub substituting with ham. Now you can substitute with any meat you like, chicken, even seafood. Some people love seafood in there like shrimp and whatever else. I'm doing it with the ham. There we go. There we go. Okay. Put a dab of butter. I guess I should turn it on. There we go. Turn it on, turn it on. I'm gonna throw in a teaspoon of chopped garlic. Okay, now that the butter's all melted, I'm gonna throw in the ham and the scallions. And we're gonna throw in one can of mushrooms, pieces and stems, drained. So no water in there. Drain all the water out. I'm just gonna mix that up a little bit. Put in a little bit of the good vibrations. Magic spoon. Magic spoon. Magic spoon. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. 
It's going to be delicious. It's going to be great. It's going to be fabulous. So let that sit there for a bit and let it simmer. Okay, so here we go. This is all ready to go. Now it's just a matter of waiting for the zucchini or zucchini, the spaghetti squash to come out of the oven. And that's coming out in another three minutes. Okay, well, it's been 50 minutes now. So let's check if it's ready. It's gonna be very, very hot, so be very careful. Oh, I could just tell that. Oh, oh, look at that. Comes off like nothing. There's a little seed. Look at that seed over there. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So now what you do is you take two forks and you just kind of pull it back like that. This is your spaghetti. So you can see it's Somewhat stringy. Oh, so nice and soft. This is great. Well done. So 450 for 60 minutes is perfect. Scratch the middle as well. Just to loosen it up a little bit. And this is going to be your bowl. So you could eat right out of the shell. Now, some people eat it like this with butter, salt and pepper, you know. You could do whatever you want. You could put Alfredo sauce. You could put spaghetti sauce. But this is how I'm making it today. There you go. There's another seed. My God, there's so many seeds. Thought I took them out. But it won't kill you. There's another seed. No more seeds. No more seeds. None. Okay, we're good. Now for the other one, same thing. Now this has somewhat of a sweet flavor to it. Not too sweet, but sweet flavor. See, some of these little buggers are hiding. See? There you go. Scrape the sides. Oh, look how beautiful that's coming out. You'll know by when you peel it back if it's ready or not. If you're having a hard time peeling it back, it means it's not quite ready. And if it feels still a little hard, it's not quite ready. You may like it on Dante. That's fine. But I like it ready. <laughs> now this is how I'm going to make it today. I'm going to make it with the sauce. I'm going to use this uh, Parmesan and Romano. And I'm going to scoop it in there. I prefer using a jar spaghetti sauce because then I could just put it in the fridge. And if I need it during the week, I could have it for the rest of the week, right? Okay, so we're going to mix that up. Nice, nice. Put as much sauce as you want. Okay. Look at all that butter in there, too. There we go. Okay. So flatten it down. Flatten it down. And now we're going to put the mushrooms, ham, garlic, and scallions on top. Just like that. Spread it out, all nice. Okay. 
for the final touch to make it absolutely delicious. Some Monterey Jack. So I'm going to put some Monterey Jack on top. Mm hmm. Mm. Put some cheesy goodness on there. This is all the Monterey Jack I have left, so just going to use it up. So this is somewhat of a zero waste today because the ham was leftovers and uh, the cheese was leftovers. And well, I had to cook up the spaghetti squash because, well, I didn't want it to go bad, right? Mm, good cheese. Mm, mm. And that's it, guys. Now we're going to put that in the oven. Oh, oh, just one more thing. We're going to put a little bit of fresh basil from my windowsill basil plant. Nice basil, nice and fresh. A little bit of pepper, black pepper, and there's no more in a freaking container. And a little bit of pepper, black pepper, and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And now it's going in the oven on broil for two minutes. Well, time's up. Time to take it out. Na 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 That looks some more. Na 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 Looks delicious. Delicious! And that's how I make my spaghetti squash. So since we still had heat in the, in the oven, because it was on broil, I turned it off and I put the seeds on a parchment paper, added some sea salt, and put it in the oven. So I'm going to put it in there for half an hour and it's turned off, but there's still heat inside the oven from the broil and from the baking of the um, spaghetti squash. So we're not going to waste that heat. We're going to use it to cook these little guys. Well, it's taste test time. Get some thumbnails in there. So let's taste test this beast. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's delicious. Look at that. Mm. Look at that goodness. Mmm. Mamma mia. Mm. Mm. Jay's probably sitting in the living room going, I want some too. Mm. Let's take another bite. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Well, that was delicious. I'm going to have that for supper tonight. Jay's going to have that for his work lunch. And another meal. Nice and easy. Thought I'd show you guys this meal. So there's my roasted seeds with sea salt. I'm going to try it. 
Mmm. Tastes just like pumpkin seed. Mmm. So when you make a spaghetti squash, don't throw out the seeds. Roast them. Mmm, mmm, mmm.